Hello everyone. Welcome you to this video. In today's video, we have a question on uh, visualization. Okay. So here the question is, if I wanted to do bivariate analysis between a categorical and a numerical feature, what kind of plots will be best suitable? Okay, so let's go into the video. So here I'm going to take a uh, Seaborn. So let me import a Seaborn package. And let's import matplotlib. So I have imported these two packages. So I'm going to show you uh, different uh, plots for a categorical and a numerical feature. Okay. So from Seaborn, I'm going to do that. So let me first import a data set from Seaborn. So let me show you with an example, right? So let me take a data set from Seaborn. So here I'm going to take Iris data set. So most of you would be knowing Iris data set. So this is the data set we have. So we have one categorical feature, which is species, and rest all other features are numerical features. So now the question is, if I wanted to take one categorical feature and one numerical feature and do bivariate analysis, what kind of plots I can use? So let's see that. So here, first we are going to see box plot. So we have box plot and Seaborn, which can be used for categorical and numerical features. So now let's uh, call this box plot and let me take X as species, which is categorical data. And let's take Y as any numerical data we can take. So let me copy from here. So all these are numerical features, right? Except species. So here, let me take one numerical feature and let's keep the data frame and say plt.show. Here we go. So we have got box plot for sepal length for each category. So since I have given species, which is a categorical feature, it has three categories in it. We have uh, setosa, we have virginica, and we have versicola. These are the three categories in species. And if you see, when I try to have a box plot for one categorical and one numerical feature, it gives me the box plot for sepal length. So sepal length is a numerical feature we have. So it gives the box plot for sepal length for each category in species, right? So box plot basically gives you the distribution of uh, you know data, right? So here you can see how sepal length is distributed for setosa, for versicolor, and for virginica, right? And this dot is nothing but the representation of outlier. So when you have outlier, so uh, you can see these dots in the box plot, right? So that particular data point is an outlier. So we have used a box plot here from Seaborn for a categorical and a numerical feature. So we have bar plot, which can be used for having categorical and a numerical feature. So let me say SMS dot bar plot. And let's take these features. So I'm going to take species and sepal length. You can take any numerical feature. So here we go. So we have uh, created a bar plot for one categorical and one numerical feature, right? So when I take categorical and numerical feature for a bar plot, so what exactly do I get here? So here, as you see, for each category in species, I'm getting the average sepal length, average sepal length for versicolor, average sepal length for virginica. So bar plot in Seaborn gives you the mean value, right? So here, if you see for setosa, I can see what is the average 
sepal length and for versicolor what is the average sepal length and for virginica what is the average sepal length right so for setosa it is five and for versicolor the average sepal length is somewhere closer to uh, 5.9 and for virginica, the average sepal length is somewhere closer to 6.5, right? So basically, you can use bar plot for uh, having one categorical and one numerical feature, right? So we also have a function called a strip plot. So this also can be used for a categorical and a numerical feature. So let's say sns.strip plot. So let's take the same features. And let's have a plot. So strip plot is basically nothing but it gives you a scattered plot based on the categories, right? So here, the categorical feature we have is species. So again, the three categories in species, we have setosa, versicolor, and virginica. So if you see the strip plot we have for each category for sepal. So it gives you the strip plot for sepal length. So strip plot basically gives you the distribution of data. So it says how the data is, it shows how the data is distributed for each category. So for setosa, you can see, uh, the sepal length starts from 4. Point, uh, it's somewhere 4.2 to 4, I think it's 4.2 to 5.8, right? It's somewhere closer to 5.8. So you can see that the distribution of sepal length for setosa, versicolor, and virginica, right? So these are some of the plots that you can use when you wanted to do bivariate analysis between a categorical and a numerical feature. Hope this was useful. Thank you.